Greetings and a warm welcome to the June 2023 Sky Report. I'm Patrick So. Venus is still very much the dominant planet in our evening sky this month. It is easy to find, just look to the west about 30 minutes after sunset. Even as twilight fades, it outshines every celestial object in the night sky, except for the moon as seen in this image taken in the middle of last month. On closer inspection, Venus resides in the constellation of Gemini the Twins. Extending an imaginary line from Gemini's brightest stars, Castor and Pollux, we arrive at the red planet Mars. Well, that was the case during the middle of last month. By the beginning of June, Venus has shifted to the position where Mars was in the middle of last month. Similar to Mars before, Venus is now nearly aligned with Castor and Pollux. In contrast, Mars has moved into the dim constellation of Cancer the Crab. On June 4th, Venus reaches its greatest elongation east of the Sun. This marks the maximum angular distance of the planet from the Sun. That angular distance is about 45 degrees. From Los Angeles, Venus sets at 11.18 p.m., or about 3 hours and 16 minutes after sunset. As we progress towards June 15th, the angular distance of Venus from the Sun gradually diminishes, causing the planet to appear slightly lower in position each evening. At the same time, Venus and Mars draw closer to each other, maintaining a separation of approximately 6 degrees. As June comes to a close, Venus and Mars are about 3.5 degrees apart, noticeably lower in the sky following sunset. On June 21st, a slender waxing crescent moon, only 3.5 days old, accompanies Venus and Mars in the evening sky. This is a beautiful sight not to be missed. The two planets and the moon align to form a right-angled triangle in the sky, creating a stunning visual display. It is worth noting that June 21st marks the beginning of summer, adding an extra touch of significance to this celestial arrangement. At 7.58 a.m. PDT, the summer solstice takes place. During this moment, the sun reaches its farthest northern point along its annual path or ecliptic, represented by the red line in the sky within the northern hemisphere. In Los Angeles, local noon occurs at 12.55 p.m. PDT, when the sun reaches an altitude of 79 degrees above due south. This signifies the highest point the sun reaches at noontime throughout the whole year. The summer solstice marks the beginning of summer in the northern hemisphere and the onset of winter in the southern hemisphere. Directing our gaze towards the evening sky, we can spot the spring constellations of Leo the Lion and Virgo the Maiden gracefully positioned in the southwest. Just east of due south are the summer constellations Libra the Scales and Scorpius the Scorpion. Sagittarius the Archer is low to the southeast. East of Sagittarius is the constellation Aquila the Eagle. Its most prominent star, Alta, shines brilliantly in the eastern sky, heralding the arrival of summer. During June evening, Scorpius is seen rising in the south-southeast. In this photograph, captured by our telescope demonstrator Anthony Perkick from a remote location far from city lights, the rising of Scorpius can be witnessed in all of its celestial splendor. The lines connecting the stars of Scorpius show the head and body of the scorpion above the horizon. The brightest star of Scorpius, Antares, stands out with its distinctive reddish hue. While Venus and Mars grace the evening sky, Jupiter and Saturn appear in the morning sky. Saturn is in the faint constellation of Aquarius the water bearer above the southeast horizon, while brilliant planet Jupiter is in Aries the ram having just emerged from the glare of the sun above the eastern horizon. Our moon phases this month. Full moon is the 3rd, last quarter is on the 10th, new moon is on the 17th, and first quarter is on the 26th. And that's all for this month's Sky Report. Until next time, cheerio!